guys, we are playing Feed the Beast. Oh no, here, and we are making some dark iron. Um, it's going to start me on fire. This is the biggest batch I've ever done. And I'm not sure if it does underneath. Looks like it does. Cool. Except for those. Huh. So it did one layer. Well, it almost did almost did two layers underneath in some spots. I guess it didn't do these three. But this is good. This is plenty of dark iron. Uh, 29 blocks. We'll leave these three here for next time. Um, but we need dark iron today for our next project, which as soon as we get to the surface, I will show ya. Right up here. Um, so this big wall of uh, barrels, it it doesn't look great. It looks okay, but it's not like neat with all these pipes. They kind of the way they attach underneath, and they don't really work very well. So there's this thing called a router, and the router basically allows you to remove all the piping and as long as all of these containers like it as long as there's storage units something that's got an inventory in it is attached to another inventory it will automatically transfer items between that so if we remove all these pipes and let's say we put a barrel right here um, it would the router would send stuff through here it would send it actually through the barrels not through the pipes and then it, it would go through this barrel up to this level so if we make this entire wall barrels um, we don't need any pipes and we just use this router and it will be quick and things will get transferred through and it's actually pretty easy to make um, six dark iron ender pearl egg and an eye of ender and there you got your router and I don't even think it needs to be powered um, where am I here this guy uh, so let's do that uh, we got blaze rods, and we will need an egg. Have we got an egg? Not here. We got chickens out here, though. Chicken, chicken out here. You can hear them Just pooping eggs out. Get me in here. Alright, let's grab this guy. Perfect. Just one. Um, let's grab... Uh, Grab half a stack here. There's some upgrades you can add to the router. Um, I've not played with this at all or anything, so I'm not exactly sure how these upgrades will work. But let's do this. Get ourselves some of those. Get one eye of Ender. Boom, boom. Put the egg there. Oh, we gotta craft these guys out. There we go. And router. Da, 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 da. Um, so we're not going to place that yet. Um, we're going to leave that in here for now. I also, while I'm doing this, because I'm going to have to uh, take all these pipes out and rearrange this stuff, like there's going to be lots to move around here. I'll do that off camera, but we're going to need a way to we gotta kill this zombie right now. We're gonna need a way to um, shut off the quarry because the quarry can't be pumping stuff through when we're trying to organize that. Um, so there's also a way we can do that that is pretty simple. You have a friend. Oh! Oh, come on. Um. We can shut off the quarry from here pretty easily, and that is by using a, uh, it is called the wireless transmitter and wireless transceiver, receiver, transceiver, same thing I think as a transmitter, um, easy to make, you need a wireless transceiver which is a rether pearl, a rether pearl is just an ender pearl with glowstone and redstone around it, so we need two of those guys, so we're going to make that real quick. See if we've got glowstone. We don't. Um, is that in here? 
I think also what we're going to do is uh, we're maybe going to put barrels of the dusts above the ores uh, so that they're kind of matching and we'll maybe pump these guys we'll move them I think I'm gonna cut a hole in the wall here and have kind of a back room where we're gonna have the uh, furnace and other things um, we need some of that and some of that and obsidian I think the obsidian's in here yes we need that so let's make two of these rether pearls. I think like that. I think that it works either way if you do glowstone in the corners. There we go, two rether pearls, and we need obsidian sticks. We need one here and one there, so we'll need four total, which is just like this. Four total, and we'll do two wireless transceivers. We also need smooth stone. Oh, and we need these wafers too. Perfect. I don't know which ones we need. We'll just take that. Uh, we need to make one stone bowl, which is three smooth stone. And like that. And then there we've got our receiver dish. And if we go like that, and I believe it's this and this. Nope, not those. These guys. There we go. Oops. There's our wireless receiver. Now we need the transmitter, which is the same thing, just without the bowl. These things are really easy to use, easy to make too, uh, and really handy. Basically, what it does is we can get rid of this guy. Um, what it does is you've got the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, do I have a block that I can use for that? We'll just use uh, red alloy wire, I guess. Oh no, is this a inverted green lamp? There. So that's on right now, and we set the frequency. Uh, you can set it. It looks like there's... Oh man, there's probably 9,999 different options. Nope. 5,000. 5,000 different uh, transmitter frequencies, so if you're on a server, that's plenty. And you set these two to the same, and they will communicate with each other. Um, what does this advance do? Oh, you can name them, and you can also see. So if you're on a server, you can see different frequencies. That's pretty cool. Uh, we won't need to use that advanced panel, though. Um, see if I give you a button will you communicate I don't think it'll work like that let's do it like this here so this is the transmitter we're gonna put them both just on one like that and if I push that that communicates with that and it'll work like if we keep this one here and we put this one on the quarry and um, I'm not sure what we'll hook this up to. Maybe a... I don't know yet. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe you can use a sticky piston to move these pipes. Not sure, but just like that, quick. Um, we'll just put a lever on it so it keeps it on and off. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. And then I will uh, rearrange everything here. And we'll hook the router up and fire it back up, and hopefully it works. But I'm going to cut recording now and do all that stuff. I will be right back. All right, so here is my very primitive setup for my receiver. Uh, controlling the engines here. Uh, probably could use a lot less redstone and some... Uh, I think if I put a block here and had a... Um, a repeater going into it it would power these two same thing on this side but I didn't bring any redstone with me actually so I had to go mine some but this works now I've just got the transmitter down there with a lever on it so this will work I'm gonna head back to uh, back to base and get those barrels organized that'll probably take me a long time I will be back in a bit alright guys we're back um, it's actually been quite a few days since 
uh, I stopped recording to work on the new system here. We're gonna take a nap quick, get rid of this rain. Um, and unfortunately it's not gonna work out like I hoped. Uh, due to a bug with the router, uh, I'll explain that in a minute, uh, but this is what we have set up. I did put the dusts here, which I kind of regret. I don't think I really want them piping in now. I think I would just rather have them come to diamond chests um, instead. I find that easier, uh, but we're going to leave it like that anyway. So we've got this whole wall. This is all stuff that comes out of the quarry, or stuff that we can mine here, like this... Uh, what is this called? Galena ore, that's from the Twilight Forest. Tungsten, doesn't find very often, but there's still that. And then empty spots, you have to fill with some, like a filler block. If you're going to use the router, or even if you're just going to have it pipe straight in. Because, uh, like, let's say this was open right now. If this spot was open, we got some uh, cobblestone pumping in or something. Even though we've got actual cobblestone barrels designated here it'll fill this one first just because uh, that would be the closest available um, so what we got here is I've just got this pumping out cobblestone to the recycler and I've got the recycler making scrap uh, very quickly it does a stack in about th four seconds and it just keeps up I've just got a autarchic gate and then a barrel, we've got 92 stacks of scrap ready, which is a whole hell of a lot. Whole hell of a lot. Um, so that's pumping out. I'm hoping to get rid of these three barrels and just have one full. One expanded barrel full. Um, but let's go see in here. Um, this is the control room. We've got the tree farm ender chest here. And we've got the quarry ender chest here, which I turned on and off for a bit, and then the timers that will control these two things uh, and pump it out. This is the quarry switch. There's just a redstone transmitter back there on the same frequency. So that's just a really simple way to do it. But here we've got the router. Um, you place that down, and it does connect there. It doesn't really look like it connects, but you can see that it does, and stuff's already coming in. Um, the unfortunate thing is that it's kind of slow in processing right away. So, uh, like, let's say we put 22 cobblestone in. Right now, at its current settings, it only does one item at a time. So that definitely won't keep up with the quarry. But there are upgrades. Um, if I type in router, we've got these six different upgrades you can use. Um, and then you've got these options you can insert or extract. We're going to use the insert. It will also draw out from all of these things that it's connected to and these are all um, storage containers so it connects to every single one. Um, you can change it to how it inserts uh, top side, south side, north side, east, west into anywhere which is what we want because uh, some of the barrels like get out of that. Like these here they don't they aren't connected on top. It's just a dirt block there. So it actually can't insert into the top. Um, so you want to insert into anywhere or if it's a machine you can insert it into a certain slot but since these are all just basic storage containers uh, into anywhere. Um, but one of the problems you'll see here um, this is just a diamond chest here and it's already full of the stuff that's been put through. Um, even though the cobblestone barrels are a lot closer, like they're only there's a barrel behind here, uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight uh, blocks away from the nearest thing. It splits it between the two, and. That's not what we want, so there's this thoroughness uh, upgrade, which is easy to make. Dark iron and soul sand. But that is actually bugged currently, I guess. And it still splits between the two. Uh, thoroughness is supposed to... Uh, what did it say? It, 
it uses the closest barrel first and fills that before moving on to the next. So that technically should put all 32 cobblestone into the cobblestone barrel. Um, but I guess it doesn't work and it will still split it. You can see it's coming into here, which sucks. Um, so that won't work because uh, it'll split up all the items. Uh, there's also a speed upgrade. This speed boost, I think it processes a stack at a time. Or maybe that's what bandwidth does and speed just increases its speed. Uh, item filter allows you to not allow certain items through. And ejector will shoot stuff into the open area beside it, I guess. But So this isn't going to work, so we're just going to... I think we'll just leave the quarry off for now. Um, so you can see if we turn this on for a minute, it'll shoot stuff through, but because it's slow, it'll bounce them around a bit. You'll see the cobblestone will go in, and then the dirt and the aluminum can't go anywhere, so they'll just bop around until they find the next. So as soon as that's ready, that'll... As soon as this is empty... Oh man, is that ever slow. That's really slow. So this isn't going to work. Hopefully they get that fixed, though, the thoroughness bug. Because that's the only thing that we need in order to make this work. Because that diamond chest is the furthest container away from everything. So all of the items like uh, that don't have a slot in a barrel should go there. Like if, it, if the quarry picks up a uh, beehive, all of the bees should go here. Everything that's in this barrel, basically quartz, all the quartz, which is such a pain to sort. Um, if it breaks grass and gets seeds, or if it breaks into a mine shaft and you get some regular items here, it should all go into there. But that doesn't work right now. So. Um, I think we're just going to leave that go for now. Let this stuff process through. Um, but that is, in theory, how you'd make that work. There is a fix on the Feed the Beast wiki, the unofficial wiki. There's a fix for this that some guy made. Um, where that diamond chest wouldn't actually be connected to this. But there would be a piping system connected to the router that would extract from it. And after a certain amount of time, if there's still items left in there, it pulls from it and puts those in the chest. But, um, I think we'll just leave it for now. We've got this little area here. Uh, yeah, so, uh, it works, it's just except for that, that bug, so we'll just leave it for now. Um, we've got so much, so many resources now anyway. Uh, I think it's good. We'll just have to empty this barrel, or this chest every once in a while when it gets full of crap and just manually put the items in which sucks, but or we could go back to the old storage system which I wish I would have known about before I started moving all these barrels around because some of them were a pain like moving a stack of stuff from barrels this dirt and gravel and I noticed if you uh, break the barrel let's just do a little experiment here um, so we've I have an upgrade, I do. So we're going to do this. We're going to break this barrel. You can see there's 66 stacks. This is the crack sand. We're going to break it. And now let's put... Oh, we got a stack of gravel there. Let's put a new barrel there and a new upgrade. And now let's do this. And we'll fill it up. And we will not get 66. Let's put that gravel away. Fill it up. Still some more here. We got 64 stacks. We lost two stacks of cracked sand. They're not in our inventory. Oh no, here's one. 65. So we lost a stack. And I don't know where it went. And this happened. Usually it was way more than one stack. It was like... A dozen stacks or something where I was moving like gravel and dirt around and I, I would lose a bunch of it so I'm not sure um, maybe these blocks are glitched through somewhere and they're under under here or something but they are gone so I don't know but yeah uh, so that's basically how the router should work 
Um, except for that bug. But if you remove the chest and hopefully... Uh, if you remove the chest and you only had items going through that had a designated barrel slot, then it would work fine. But for items like uh, mineshaft stuff and most of the stuff when it picks up in a mineshaft, like let's say it had copper, you get the weird copper. You get um, you get this copper instead of that copper. Like this is what regular smelted copper ore looks like. This is what you get from like loot chests, and I'm not sure why they're different. But they don't stack together, so that's a problem. Because then you'd have to have a whole bunch of barrels for all the different kinds of stuff. Um, so, yeah. That sucks. And I'm not sure if they fixed uh, quartz crystals. Because sometimes they drop with different ID tags. Like here, this one's um, 221 colon 4. Sometimes you could fix there. You fix it if you shift click it in. It changes their ID tags. Like this one's three. Now we've got no more. Oh no, there's threes yet. But if we do this, changes them to two. I don't know. It's so bizarre. But oh well. Uh, that's the end of this episode anyway. Thank you guys for watching and tune in next episode. Um to make a cool tool to go with our stuff here. Uh, it's really neat. Um, see you in the next episode.